Hello and welcome to the Morello uh, factory and showroom at Schlüsselfeld in northern Bavaria. I want to show you around this vehicle here. It's a home which is now waiting to be delivered to its new home. Uh, and so I'll have to be careful what I touch and how I touch it. So it's come out of the factory and now the uh, the uh, it's waiting for delivery so uh, as the name of the purchaser is on it I am going to have to be careful not to actually show that anyway let's turn the whole thing on and where's the lights there's some lights there and there they are now so we, so we can see a little bit better the lights have not come on at the back but uh, I can see the light switches are down there. But never mind. I shall go ahead and film with the lights off. In fact, as the light switches are here. Oops. There you go. What's this? Oh, there's a 230, 230. So this is what the buyer specified. This is a special order, but uh, you could also order this as a special order as well. So it's, they would do it for other people. It's not one this standard offer uh, as I understand it. So there we have the television up there. Uh, we have here a uh, sort of, it's not quite a dressing area because it doesn't have the, the um, place to Hold, keep your clothes in we do have a large toilet area and behind me you can see the shower which is pretty large indeed this will also close as as well so you can close off from the bed you can see how how large the shower is so me and i'm going to be unusually careful about touching things because you know people about to get delivery and they find out some grubby youtuber from newcastle's been in then you, know, you never know what might happen so uh, they might uh, might refuse to take delivery might they so three burners here we've got the storage uh, down here as you'd expect now this is the starter i use that as a different way for saying the cheapest bear in mind the word cheapest is uh, totally um compare it's a comp it's a word which you compare with other words it's an adjective and so it's cheaper than the palace liner for example and uh, it's the smallest vehicle which is uh, done by morello i think in all honesty that this is probably the only one which I could ever think is being realistic that I could ever actually own. I'm trying to be realistic about things. Might find one on the used market in years to come. Who knows? There's a Dometic fridge which opens in two directions. And that's what it looks like inside. And there is the freezer. And there is the oven. So coming down to the front. This client has chosen this color for the uh, upholstery. And as you can see, it's on an Iveco daily. There's no door on this side. There's only one door and it's a security door. One thing about these vehicles is the insulation is designed in such a way as to ensure that there are no cold bridges. Uh, flat floor all the way from the front to the back. And uh, here there are, no, see there's no bed up here, which means to say that uh, there's more storage. Bit of space uh, here for, I don't know what the point of that is, but there may be some point. Um, and there's a second television here for those who want to make sure that they don't miss anything. All right, so uh, I'll have a look at one of these as well, just to make the point. Oh, and it's got this wonderful skylight. I really like a big skylight. 
and notice there's three on the way down and this allows more light into the vehicle. Right, so we've seen it now, it's now 23, 24 and it's temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. Let's just turn everything off. Push, what's happened here? So if I push that, you've got that and that's your internet stuff. But I didn't want that, I wanted to turn the, uh, turn the lights off. There's the lights off. If you don't believe me, they're now off. We'll turn the 12 volts off as well. Good. So uh, let's now depart from this vehicle. We'll have a quick look at it from the outside. Uh, we've got the a, a garage, which will take, I believe, 250 kilos of weight. It's got a rear camera. You wouldn't... I wouldn't want to be without a rear camera. Now, this doesn't have a um, cassette uh, toilet system. It has the septic tank system, and that means that you, uh, you have to find a, a certain place to dump your waste. But on the other hand, you can, you've got far more uh, uh, range. <laughs> the septic tank is much bigger than the cassette toilet. Right, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of what's here at the moment. Now, um, you may have seen uh, previous videos of mine from here, I haven't been here now for four years, but this was the, actually the entrance was here. So this bit there where I'm standing now is new. The Stellplatz was out there, and where there's now the service center was a bit of a patch of I suppose one would call it wasteland. Uh, it was there was there was actually nothing there. This bit he, the bit uh, I was just standing in was uh, opened in May 2022. Um, now uh, the factory itself, so that's a service centre there. So people bring their their, their their vehicles they've already bought in for their, their guarantees or additional stuff put on them or whatever. Here we have the first ever Morello that was built. This is a 2007 vehicle. I don't know if it was sold or if it was just the prototype. Well, here we have this thing. There you go. Uh, a journey back in time, the first prototype. And there it is. Wow. And uh, this is what, so it looked very, it looked very similar actually in many ways. So I mean, I do appreciate that as a prototype, it possibly wouldn't have these, sorry, as a, a model for sale, possibly wouldn't have had the metal things. I, I've got my van, but uh, maybe this wouldn't have had them. Uh, but you see a lot of things. Now this is 2007, so it's 15 years ago. Now in some ways it looks really old. The color scheme's somewhat like Cartago for the, um, uh, the, uh, the cabinetry, the wood, but the uh, the flooring certainly isn't. And uh, the back here, this double bed, uh, that that does look a bit uh, bit on the old side. It is for like fifteen years. It does have a bit of a smell about it of mm, being an older vehicle, but a used vehicle at that. But here, this um, large dressing area is in my opinion somewhat revolutionary for the time and uh, i mean you wouldn't see something like this today but it does look uh it looks it looks quite it looks quite good interesting uh kitchen also now we just saw these things in the the, the new vehicle which is about to, uh, to leave with very similar uh, look to it with a very similar recessed um, design hobs from uh, Thetford or it's, it's a spin flow which was a Thetford brand or what was or is I haven't heard it used them recently but uh, that looks absolutely uh, if it weren't for the color scheme um, that could be something almost out of a new vehicle and the color scheme here which is what I had in my flat in 2007. So, 
same material as well. Uh, right, and we've got we've got these other uh, new vehicles. Some of them, one or two of them, actually are are used, but. Uh, um, but very, uh, very little used, I'd have to say. And uh, so it gives you, if you're in the area of uh, northern Bavaria, you could sort of uh, come by. Anyway, I've, I've done videos on everything you see here. So uh, let's now come back into the, uh, see the, the star of the show, uh, which was this Morello home, uh, a new one. It's waiting delivery. It's sitting right here. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, then you'll want to subscribe. And if you didn't, then you, I don't understand why you are still here watching this. Thanks for watching.